Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. Welcome back to the Custom Map Op Hack. We've, uh, we've been doing this for a while now. This is episode 27. And in this episode, we're gonna be doing some fun stuff, but not before I repair Ellie. And she's starting to cost some serious levels. She's starting to cost some serious levels. I'm feeling, I'm feeling one. We'll give her one repair. That's ridiculous. Did you see that? I was about to spend 30 levels. I'm repairing the stupid little Elytra when I've got, what, three more right here? And many more in the NCD Dungeons. Look, I know I named you, but my loyalty to you, not that strong. Like, if you, if I were to lose you in a fire, I'd be upset for, like, three seconds. Anyways, <laughs> I've made a couple changes to the house. Uh, what we're going to be doing this episode is going to be showing off new quarries. Remember that eyesore that was outside that red and white mess? Well, it's gone. I left the chests and the um, the little hoppers because there's still items in like a bunch of cobblestone. Uh, but I got rid of the mess and we're going to be building another quarry. Except it's not really supposed to fit in there. I got to... Oh, man. Well, first of all, let me grab my bone and I'll show you. Like I said, I was, some serious work has gone in since the last episode. I did a building episode and then it just set me off. And I just started building like crazy all over the place. Let me get some food so that I'm not like dying while I'm showing this off to you. Okay. So anyways, up we go. Perfect. So I added a healthy iron border to a majority of of the area i didn't finish yet i didn't want to keep using up all this iron but it looks nice right i also added windows all over the place to the house yeah that one looks a little silly that one kind of looked goofy uh, but some of it you know i think it looks pretty good it really opens up the place um just adds to the overall feel of uh, you know the Minecraft experience, I guess, or something. I don't know. I, I did stupid little stuff like this. We replaced the glowstone over there with prismarine. I used the little tempest machine we have here to uh, make some more prismarine out of, what was it? Cobblestone? And some just more in general changes. I'll show you downstairs. Like we, that old armor we had, this doesn't work anymore. So we're just using this decoration. Set the uh, nether portal back up because the nether is kind of working safely for now. Nothing's gonna blow up as far as I know. And we finished up this area, and I made it downstairs. Just kidding. I haven't mined it out yet. But it's going to look dope. It's going to look so sick. I'm thrilled. I, I love getting it. This took forever. This took forever. The way these things get placed, super finicky. Like, I'll break that one because it'll turn. But this one starts to be upside down. I ba basically had to replace all the stained glass after, after I took it. Oh, it was just a mess. I don't even, like, I'm getting angry thinking about it. And then we we went pretty in on the organization. We, we did most of this. I've got my own system. Don't worry about if some of it looks like it doesn't make sense. We're not done organizing yet, but I emptied out most of these chests. Oh, this is now tools, and this is, like, weapons. These haven't changed. I'm probably going to move the, the blocks down there. And, um, Yeah. Everything looks good. So we're going to be exploring quarries today. And then if we've got enough time, we're going to be checking out those Ender Knights that we saw in the last episode and trying to get that Fury Gem because I've been told it's got serious combat implications. And uh, we're also on the latest snapshot. So that stupid little bouncing glitch that it was happening should be fixed. So hopefully there's no more glitches. Oops, took a screenshot that we don't know about yet. Anyways, I'm going to get the supplies we need to build this quarry. And I'm also going to go to sleep because it's about to be nighttime. And uh, we'll be back in one second. Okay, first off, what? I'm looking at the recipe for this quarry. We need four diamond pickaxes. Wow. What are you trying to take me for a ride or something, Xavier? Hey, by the way, this is a mod pack survival in 1.9. It's got a bunch of custom commands. It's maintained by Dragon014 and TPC Bonan. Link to both their channels is going to be in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Anyways, you're telling me I need a four pickaxes, huh? Really? Really? Well, I guess if that's what I need, then that's what I need. We also need a dropper. We need 20 stone bricks, 9 iron blocks. We happen to have the 9 iron blocks right here. And then we also need 4 glass and an enchanted book of any type. Actual enchanted books. So what is our worst enchant- Yeah, I'll take the power one. And we've got 20 stone bricks should be in here. Perfect. That's 20. And then we also need four glass. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to take this baby up 
to our Tempest machine, I guess is what it's called. I don't know. It's like a different thing from the crafter over there. And we are going to make this baby. So here's the recipe you need in order to make quarries. You put a diamond pickaxe in all four of the corners. In the, in the sides, you put glass, just like that. And then in the middle, you're going to put the enchanted book. Now that should be giving me a quarry. I just messaged TPC and Xavier about it. I was wrong about this, by the way, while I have you. Um, it's <laughs> not a hopper that we need. We need a dropper. So I think I might have a dropper. And if I don't, I'll just, yeah, I think I'm going to make one. Okay, I'm going to try and make what we made before, you know, with the flaming coal. See, now that doesn't want to work either. This, my friends, is unfortunately the nature of these commands. Sometimes they will glitch out. You know, it's just going to happen. When we've got so many running at the same time, you can kind of get an idea of why you may sometimes run into issues. So I'm going to try and get a hold of one of them and see if we can get this fixed. Otherwise, uh, we're going to just check out Ender Knights instead. All right. Hopefully it works. We just I just replaced this thing. I made a new one, and then I tested with the flaming coal, and the flaming coal got created. So we'll probably be fine. Let's see. Hey, we got a magic quarry. That's what I've been waiting for. So now that we've got the magic quarry, we're going to choose a location that we want to run this thing, and I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Yeah. Fly, dang it. So I definitely don't want to be near my base wherever we do this. I want to go... Somewhere I don't mind if it gets a little ugly. We could try and place it at that one spot We tried to do a quarry at before it was right over here actually Convenient. Hey a great time. So now we're in the spot. We want to do this Let me get the rest of the supplies. I want well I need I should say oh and by the way this I can explain this this was me resetting the um mini tempest thing so what i did was when you do when you place one of these down it like resets it so don't mind that i'm just being honest with you guys well you want it to not work <laughs> anyways now we have everything else we can use so we need the 20 stone bricks nine iron blocks a dropper and then we also need this magic quarry so let's go ahead and place this down now the the quarry that gets spawned in we're building like a magic tower that summons this quarry in it's going to move towards positive z we're currently looking towards negative x so this is towards positive z so if we go ahead and place down is this gonna be i'm gonna count 15 by 15 it doesn't matter too much because it, it's all gonna just be digging into the ground soon enough anyway so let me go ahead and build this machine now it's a three by three area that the uh, quarry is going to be recognizing and it's basically a little something something like that so oops i am very glad i brought my whoa Whoa, nice. Nothing. I wasn't moving one bit. Crazy. Glad I brought this is what I was saying. You're going to place the dropper facing up like most of these machines right in the middle there. And then on either side, we're going to do one, a two, a three, and then a one, a two, a three, and then a one. Dang it. Two, three, one, two, three. And then finish this baby off with a block of iron as the roof. Just like that. Now what you need to do is take that quarry that we made and... Oh, you might want to be careful, Mr. Cow. You're going to drop it right on the dropper here. And lo and behold. Oh, man. Oh, man. And the magic has begun. It's sick. It starts collecting in, in right here. Now, we could, if we were smart, we would go grab a chest. And we can do that. But essentially what's happening here is every 38 seconds or so, in a 15 by 15 area... This quarry is going to just dig straight down. And not only that, but the quarry will remove any water that it comes across. It will also remove lava. And it will surround the entire area that it builds with, with a cobblestone wall. Now, I believe, have any of these started collecting it? I'm not sure where the items show up. I think they may show up. I forget where they show up, to be honest with you. I got to go check. You can also use the dropper here as a storage system so if you want to keep some stuff in here and any objects that are right next to and on the same level as the dropper hopefully we can do this real quickly they will get moved down along with the machine so see watch when this moves down again in however many seconds here this will move down um 
Okay, well, so don't use cobblestone for your platforms because it actually won't work on those. But what is really cool about the quarry is it really only mines useful blocks for you. As in, it's not going to keep the dirt, it's not going to keep cobblestone, but it will keep special stone like the granite and the diorite and andesite, and it will also mine ores for you. So now you'll see... Somewhere, so, somewhere around here. Come on, where is it? I was just reading up on this. Oh boy, oh boy, I want to talk about it. Oh, see, there it is. It's all slowly collecting. I told you. See, now underneath here, I think is a, uh, is it collecting for, where is it? Oh, see, it's all collecting in the dropper there. So don't you worry your sweet little head over a thing. I was just being crazy. It doesn't collect experience though, which is bad. But we, we don't need experience. You know what I could do? Is I could just take some of my items that have mending on them when this is like finished. In fact, I think I might, I might just do that right now. Let me tell you what. Look at that. It's all nice and mended now. And we can still get out, but just barely. So I'm going to probably just let this do its thing. The real unfortunate part is you can't run quarries and then go off and do other. You know, you can't go and do other things. So, so that's lame. I can't see what's happening right now. But, you know, for building episodes, it should be a real hoot. Now, if you decide to add this into your world whilst it's running, you'll notice that these things are not moving anymore. That's just to prevent lag. You'll see when we get close, they all start getting nice and animated. Now, the other thing is, if you didn't realize, am I stuck? I may be stuck. I might be stuck. Let me out! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't think this one through, I'll tell you what. Oh, man. So, yeah. The other real cool thing is you can run multiple of these at the same time. Just don't make them run into each other. Otherwise, they'll break each other. But we could set up, like, three or four quarries at once if we wanted to. And we could technically also set these further down so that we're not wasting most of our time mining, you know, coal and iron. You can set these wherever you want. So, useful. All right, well, I'd like to make a point that I added hoppers to the top here so that these collect a little bit more. Once you make the machine, you can literally do whatever you want to this thing on top. So, I, I'm all, I'm literally kind of over it. What you could do is just set this up with a bunch of chests so that it doesn't get clogged up like this. So, this might stop collecting. But as you can see, it's doing its thing down here, baby. Now, I think it messed with some gravel, and that kind of messed up. The stack down there but you can see it's slowly collecting further as well wouldn't worry too much about it it's going to be useful it's better for like afk though you feel me anyway so now we got some good supplies out of that i don't know if it was worth the iron blocks i used but we will have to see some other time now i think it's time to take on an ender knight so i want to make some different dragonium armor we are just burning through a lot of this armor which means we're gonna have to kill Cows. I'm sorry. Like, I don't enjoy killing cows, but here's gonna be the fastest way to do it. Oh boy. Whoa boy. Are they all dying? Were they all actually dying? No, those are just the spiders. That's right. You can't die from poison. But now look. Oh boy. Did you see that? Did you see that? Wasn't that something? Watch this. <laughs> oh! How many cows did we just kill? Oh my goodness! That was crazy! We still have so many cows and we just got like a stack of leather basically. Man! So I already set up the glain, the glain stats, the stained glass we need. I just need to turn this into armor. And then once we do that, we're gonna get ourselves some Anium armor. That's right. You did hear me correctly. Anium. Look at that. Look at me. Look at that. Did you like that? Oh, that was great. It'd be better if I made the helmet with the legs. It'd be faster, but I'm not all, like, super competitive about it. So, Anium is combat armor. We had the, what was it? The, um, the yellow armor we made? That was pretty defensive armor. This is some straight-up combat armor we're about to make. Let's start with the chest plate here. Woo, baby! Ooh, baby! Ooh, baby! shut up i need to go grab axes and stuff too actually not before i reap the harvest though oh kill it right now oh i should have used 
Will fortune work? Do I have a... I don't care anymore. Well, I regret doing that. I moved all these down because I thought it looked better. But then I realized I had more lamps than I do water. So now some of them are just sitting and the light disbursement's probably not as good because I got rid of some because... Ah! And I'm seeing this rain! I'm going to sleep! Really cool thing I found out you can do. You can pretty much rewrite your tools. That was Ethereum. Now it's Anium. So let me tell you a little bit about this Anium armor set that we're going to be wearing in a bout right now. <laughs> this is a power set. So essentially what the sword will do if we had some Dragonium, I'm gonna get some Dragonium. Well, before I put this on me and it starts wasting it, let me tell you. So the sword will encase mobs in cobblestone. Axes will create explosives that will send mobs flying, but it won't kill them. Helmets will let me break five blocks above me when I look up. Leggings will give me strength. And boots will sink mobs into the ground when I'm jumping and shifting. So I am very curious to see a little bit more about this, to be quite honest with you. We've got the Dragonium on us now. So let's go somewhere that might break blocks. How about right over here? So it'll break up to five blocks above me when I look up. Oh! Oh! But... What other kind of blocks? I wonder. I certainly do. Is there like zombies nearby here or something? Let me see this. Actually, I want to. I kind of want to get underneath this iron. Kind of want to get under the iron. All right, let me see. <gasps> Ooh! Hey, fun. Okay, but there was there was mostly holes. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Let's get under this now. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this is six, so. Oh my goodness! Oh, so it breaks four above me, it looks like. But that's still pretty dope. Now, how, have we used a lot of this? Um, we haven't used any of the Dragonium yet, which is good. I want to test out where were those. Oh, and we updated the Ogre Hand, too. Totally forgot. So the Ogre Hand is now awesome. The Ogre Hand can be used in our offhand. And it will that way we can use it with tools. And we can break stuff so fast. But it takes, um, it takes up zombie flesh to use it. So it's a fair trade. It's like one zombie flesh every 20 seconds or so. I'm going to go get it. It's so cool. I'm being like so careful not to look up while I have this on. <laughs> so the Ogre Hand. Oh, man, and we need to get some flesh on us, too. Wow, a lot of that stuff, hmm. I kind of just want to dump this in a chest. Good thing I emptied these out. These will be my, hmm, this one will just be my dump stuff. And Oh, that's just the armor I had, and some of this is actually kind of use. Eh, whatever. <laughs> we'll leave the stuff we don't necessarily need right now. So, Ogre Hand, that's what I wanted. Oh, and then we need a bunch of... Rotten flesh. So here we go. Check this out. You ready for this? Okay, I literally don't remember where we were, but so you ready for this? Look. Ogre hand. It starts using up flesh, but check this out. What? What? Hey. Hey. Hey, there. Hey, guy. Yeah. Ein! It's so fast that it, like, sometimes will glitch out my, um... <laughs> That's so cool. Like, literally, what are you doing there? Overkill? Did I just kill him in, like, one shot? Oh, it gives me s mad strength, too. That's right. The zombie hand will also give you strength whilst holding it. Oh, boy. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. So let me show you an effect that you can also use. When you have the anium, if you sneak and jump at the same time, it will make mobs around you sink into the ground. Sink. Sink into the ground. And I heard a witch. Watch this, watch this, literally, literally, go ahead and sink, just start sinking, baby. Oh, sunk to my level, <laughs> sink! <laughs> That's awesome, so cool. I'm getting hungry, I'm hungry, boy. And look, the, the drops spit out of the side here. So we need to find an ender knight. So I'm gonna get out of the caves, that's not why we're here. We're gonna try and find an ender knight. Ender knights are zombies that appear, well, I mean, if we're trying to, I mean, Ender Knights are ancient warriors from the far northern lands, and they like to hang out by stone. So, um, don't mind me while I stop holding this so it stops eating up my goodies. And time add, let's go with 5,000. Perfect. So, <laughs> the hunt for these Ender Knights begins. We might need to... 
Let's get some like healing stuff because these things are apparently really strong. Oh, I was like, why am I not flying? I don't have my Ellie on me. Well, that makes a lot of sense. All right, we're good to go now and it's nighttime. We've got our great Anium tools. We've got bowls of stew, which give me regen, bowls of mushroom soup, which give me absorption. We've got some backup armor for when this inevitably breaks. And then we've got our fuel for our items that we need. So let's go find some Ender Knights. So we are near our quarry now. Let's test this stuff out. So it will encase a mob in cobblestone, huh? Well, it will try to. Hey, that's cool. Axe like a wall, kind of. That's neat. Now, what about the axe? The it will send mobs. Hey! Hey, we gotta be careful with that, seriously. Oh. Yeah, we gotta be pretty careful with that, to be honest. <laughs> but that is neat. What if we... Get him, knock him down there. Man, you literally have to be very careful with this stuff. Let's uh, let's eat one of these real quick. Beetroot soup. Oh, I can't because I'm a full boy. That is the downside. You can't eat these just willy-nilly anytime you want like you can with a lot of other things. So, let's try and find one of these Ender Knights. I should, uh, let's just put our Ellie back on for now so we can fly around. Ender Knights Ahoy. Didn't find Ender Knights. Did find Orc, which I kind of want to kill for its goodies. And we got the angry zombie here. He really is angry. He's an angry boy. My goodness, there's many of you, aren't there? Whew. Let's use the uh, ogre hand. So we're, that we're super strong. So that we're strong boys. Look at it. Oh, baby. Hey, hey, come on. Don't set me on fire. Whoo. Okay, 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 okay. Man, this is nervous. Did I kill the, uh, did the angry zombie? I didn't even get his head. Man, remember that fire from when we ran into that mage? It's still here. It's still on fire over here. Why? It's horrible. So wouldn't you know it, just waiting around for long enough actually made an ender knight appear. I just saw one over there, and now it's my job to go and take him out. Also, quarries, they're gonna need another looking at, I think, which is fine. But I went to go check, and it looks like something happened. <laughs> something real bad happened. And now, it's... Now, where'd that Ender Knight go? I was literally just looking over here, and I saw an Ender Knight. Where did he go? <laughs> Don't mind me. Ogre versus Ogre. Yo, he's antsy. He wants a piece of me, huh? Don't think so. Don't think so. Don't think so! Give me that hand! Did he drop it? Did he drop it? He did. Now I've got two. This is a very good thing. Die! <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you didn't die yet? Wow, I almost died. Just fighting some plain old skeletons. You should have seen the brawl. You should have seen the brawl. Ooh! Man, you should have seen the brawl. I have been searching a gross amount of time for- Oh, well there's a mage! <sighs> but I cannot find any Ender Knights anywhere. I literally could not tell you how long I've been searching. Well, I could. It's literally been like three or four Minecraft nights that I've been searching for this. The scariest sight I think I've ever seen. We found an Ender Knight. Right. He's also a baby Ender Knight. And the zombies are starting to see me. And I don't like it. I just don't like it. Gotta take care of the ones that can see me so that they don't get me later. Is he still down there? I cannot lose sight of this Ender Knight. How do I get down there, though? What's gonna be the best way? Oh, boy. I guess we can pearl down there and hope for the best. I'm gonna put on my new armor, my Anium armor. Right. Put that on. Pearl on down. Let's get the shield on. I'm gonna eat this. So we got some extra hearts. We gotta kill this guy real quick. And then, let's pearl down. And we wanna use the axe. Ooh, I mean, I mean, I mean sneak and jump at the same time. Get in the ground, get in the ground. Look, he's dying now. Oh, he just, oh my goodness. Sink, sink baby, just sink down, sink. I need to take care of these mobs. I need to take care of these mobs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
He can, he's, oh boy. Um, we need to bail. We need to bail! Oh, we died! We died! We need to get back there ASAP before he despawns. We need to. I need to. Go, go, go! Please don't despawn. I will be so. I'll be so upset when you despawn. I know for a fact you're gonna despawn. I'll be so mad. Please, please, please don't be despawned. Ah! Well, I tried. We started this day, this episode, like around what? Like day 165 or 166? Day 171. They are too rare. I can't find any Ender Knights. But what I'm gonna do is start the very next episode right as we see an ender knight like we're just gonna kill him instantly but i want to get this episode up otherwise it's gonna be up like two hours later than i wanted it to be so we did explore quarries so that's pretty sweet and we got some stuff that we can try and you know sift through i suppose come on let me up let me up let me up thank you very much anything good oh we got some diamonds at least that's yeah the quarries the quarries need some work, but that's okay. Big thank you to TPC Bonehound and Xavier Hans and Mr. Dragon014 for this awesome custom command mod pack. This has been episode 27. You want to see 28? Make sure you subscribe so you can see it right as it comes out. Thanks for leaving a like on this video if you did enjoy it. We'll see you for the next episode right as we take out an Ender Knight and figure out what this Fury Gem is all about. We'll see you later.